Hi everyone, Jordan Dreyer, the savvy millennial voice actress who is a loving leader. Today is the start of our last week. Yes. Okay, we are at six weeks and one day of the Omer. If you want to know more about the Omer and how it works, you can click on the links in the description. All this week, we're focusing on Malhut, which is sovereignty, dignity, nobility, all of those royal sounding words. It is a state of being, rather than an activity like the other six. Love, endurance, discipline, compassion, humility, creating bonds, these are all things you can do. From Chabad.org, Mahut is a sense of belonging, knowing that you matter and that you make a difference. On the body image, Mahut is the feet, or in some cases the anus, as when sitting cross-legged, that's what's touching the earth. So whatever is most touching the earth, sitting or standing, that's what Malchut is. It makes me think, I am a part of this world. The world wants me touching it and belonging to it, because I matter. And so do you. And so we start with Chesed of Malchut, the loving kindness of sovereignty. The best leaders show love and consider the other's ideas and needs. Does having power make you more loving? I know I try to listen to everyone in groups I have charge of. When teaching last year in France, it always bothered me that I couldn't reach every kid, even when I tried hard to be approachable. I wanted their input, their participation, but some of them were permanently checked out. Do I exercise my authority and leadership in a caring manner? Do I impose my authority on others? No, I've always had a good sense of when to be the leader and when to be a follower. If it's a collaboration and there's not one real leader, I will push my ideas until no one really responds with agreement or I hear a better one. With roommate situations, I give my suggestions to keeping the house better and saving water and electricity, but if they don't accept it, then oh well. I'm not going to force that. I do intend to do that with my future kids though. The exercise of today is to do something kind for any subordinates. I don't have any in my life right now except for a few teenage English tutoring students. So with them, I could learn more about what they like and use that as an English lesson. Maybe you can just bring a present or write a nice card. Ah, <sighs> thank you as always. There's still time to like and share even in this last week. And I'll see you tomorrow.